Hello, evening, afternoon, morning to anyone watching. This is Nathan, and it's the first video of 2019. I'm going to talk a little bit about dreams, how they work, and what they do. It's all real obvious what they do. Some people are scared. The, the hell out of them, yeah. But for me, what they do is help me to get my my attention in the right place, because they're a tool for guidance. And well, it's for me, it's quite common knowledge that they are for guidance, as well as other things. Yes. So your mind's processing something. You have a dream about it. Obviously, that's why it's there. But you could get a guidance stream on something that your mind's processing. I can't really determine every dream that I get. I can have a guess that I'll have a certain dream on a certain day, but... It's not really, uh... There's no science to that one. Not one that I've figured out yet, so... Just leave that one there. And... So these dreams that... I guess I use them to help me understand whatever's going on in my life and make a better choice. Part of that might be illuminating the, the right path for an easy example. Or it could be showing me something that I need to know before I make any choice at all because it would be what I have to throw away or just understand that's happening because your mind your mind can see things that well your mind can notice things that you haven't noticed your awareness it just slipped by it and it already knows so it shows you and helps to give you that more balanced viewpoint some a more useful viewpoint you can have one other use for dreams is that they are all about expansion they don't make much sense to a lot of people at least but the more that you understand yourself the more that you can understand your own dreams because that's like a language of yourself in your own mind how, how your thoughts work for you that's why dreams are quite particularly strange different between different people we all have our own ways of dealing with information and dreams just support this fact quite well as well if I might add so my dreams might not make any sense to you there seems to be a, an obvious like a cultural symbology a language of symbols that seems to cover across the earth certain things mean certain things like snakes and Hinduism also connect with Christianity symbols I won't go into all of this just yet but yeah there's um, there's a lot of symbology that needs to be understood from your own personal reference point because let's say if I'm going to interpret someone else's dreams from my own reference point it's not going to work as well. I need a little understanding of who this person is so I can determine better what these things mean before I can actually tell them what my thoughts are on it. So expansion is what dreams are all about they help us see things clearer if we if we let them if we let ourselves to process what's going on with the dreams 
and it can be quite hard to be confused by them but it's like in any situation when you're faced with expansion you can be quite confused some people don't think they need to grow or learn or some people think they're already on the right path and they're quite self-assured in that but dreams are the hold on hang on a second we just can we can actually help steer this this whole car better just if you can pay a little more attention to them write them down and take care that's all from me today